LG G6 officially announced, everything you need to know. Despite several attempts to shake things up over the years, LG has arguably yet to find its groove. While the company has produced a number of unique flagship designs, none of them have ever really managed to win the hearts of the masses. Last year's LG G5 attempted to launch us into a modular future but struggled to really make a dent outside of a small circle of fans. The LG V20 was certainly a bit better received, but even it was far from a runaway success. Can the LG G6 finally catapult the company into the spotlight? Only time will answer that question, though there is no denying that the LG G6 feels like a pretty big shift in direction from what was started last year. LG G6 Design and Build The LG G5 saw a major change in direction from the LG G4 and its predecessors, ditching the company's strategy of cramming all the keys on the back in favor of a more conventional side button layout. At the same time, the LG G5 introduced the idea of a removable battery via the bottom, as well as the ability to add on modules. Then the LG V20 arrived, and while it looked similar in design at first glance, it actually made a major about face by ditching the modular and bottom removed battery in favor of a removable back that was more akin to what we saw in the LG G4 days. So here is the LG G6. What does it retain from LG's past, and where does it innovate? First, the idea of a centered fingerprint scanner and face-like camera array remains, something started with the LG G5. That's about it though, as the G6 changes more than it keeps. Removable batteries and modules aren't present at all and on the front LG has changed the display significantly by adopting a unique 18,9 ratio. Even the material is different, as mentioned above, glass and metal now reign supreme a trend that Samsung really pushed forward, and one that both LG and HTC have now followed suit on. The LG G6 is certainly an attractive enough phone, though some would argue that the new design doesn't necessarily stand out as much as their past choices. In many ways it looks quite similar to what we are seeing from HTC, Samsung, and even others like Honor. The good news is that the switch to metal slash glass does allow the LG G6 to gain a few new tricks like water resistance and wireless charging. It's also worth mentioning that, unlike some of its rivals, LG isn't ditching the headphone jack anytime soon. As for color options, LG doesn't offer much variety in choices, at least for now, opting for pretty standard choices of Titan, Silver, Black, and White. In contrast, the LG G5 was offered in two other colors, Gold and Pink. LG G6 Specs and Special Features We'll be honest, the spec sheet for the LG G6 is far from exciting. It's not that the G6 doesn't have good specs, it does. It's just that the specs are pretty much what we've come to expect from every flagship released in the last six months or so. That includes a Snapdragon 821 processor, 4GB RAM, and 32GB storage. To be fair, we weren't expecting anything better than the 821, as we were already made aware that the Galaxy S8 would be the first and no other phone would ship with the chip until around mid-April. Still, with other phones pushing into 8GB RAM territory, the G6 just doesn't stand out much here at least at first glance. Looking a bit deeper, the G6's biggest standout spec is its new tall 18,9 display, which should provide a great viewing experience. There's also improved audio, camera, and more. Focusing on the new display, the 18,9 aspect ratio is a big change and allows users to get much more viewing space into an even smaller package than ever before. Obviously this will require some optimizations from app developers in order for the aspect ratio to be fully supported, but considering many smartphone makers seem to be considering this resolution, we don't expect this to be much of an issue. Moving on to camera, the LG G6 continues the company's dual camera approach, though it makes several changes here. First, both cameras on the rear are now the main camera with identical 1.3MP resolutions, camera sensors, and 125-degree viewing angles. For those wondering, there's no OIS on the wide or normal angle, so software stabilization is used instead. On the front, you'll find an 100-degree 5MP camera. LG G6 Specifications Display 5.7 inch 18,9 QHD and full vision IPS LCD display. 2880x1440 resolution. 
564 PPI processor quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 821. GPU Adreno 530. RAM 4 GB LPDDR4. Storage 32 slash 64 GB. Micro SD yes, up to 2 TB. Cameras rear, dual 13 MP wide angle sensor, F slash 2.4 aperture slash 125 degrees, slash 13 MP standard sensor, F slash 1.8 aperture slash 71 degrees, OIS 2.0. Front, 5 MP wide angle sensor, F slash 2.2 aperture slash 100 degrees, 1.12 M pixel size. Battery 3,300 mAh. Non removable. Quick charge 3.0. Qi and PMA wireless charging. Water resistant IP68. Connectivity LTEA3 band CA. Wi Fi 802.11A, B, G, N, AC. Bluetooth 4.2 BLE. USB Type C, NFC. Software Android 7.0 Nougat. LG UX 6.0. Colors Ice Platinum, Mystic White, Astro Black. Dimensions and weight 148.9 x 71.9 x 7.9 mm. 163 grams. LG G6 software. The LG G6 is running Android 7.0 Nougat, with the latest version of LG's UI on top. The updated user interface features a refreshing new look with natural and vivid colors which can be seen throughout many of the apps and the included set of wallpapers. Due to the unique screen size, LG found it could basically divide the interface into two grid squares, two colon one aspect ratio, that come together seamlessly, and so you'll notice this grid-like setup in a lot of LG's apps. LG has also updated icons for better uniformity, rounded corners for its background folders, and other small touches that make the UI stand out just a little bit more. Another standout software addition to the LG G6 is Google Assistant. That's right, the G6 is the very first non-pixel device to fully support Assistant out of the box. Lastly, LG also made quite a few changes to its camera app. This is another one of LG's apps that have been updated to take advantage of the 2 colon 1 aspect ratio. LG has used the extra horizontal space available to offer previews of multiple shots that you've taken instead of the single latest one that is available with most other camera apps. LG also took the opportunity to throw in a manual mode for video in the camera app this time around.